This double veto is a disgrace uh, to the Security Council. Thirteen members of the Council supported the resolution and supported the Arab League, and two chose not to do so. Uh, China and Russia uh, will now have to assume that uh, responsibility uh, in the face of the international public opinion and uh, especially the Arab uh, world, the Arab citizens, and of course uh, in the face of the, the Syrian people. And that after 11 months of unabated killing and repression, 5,500 uh, dead, almost 400 children uh, killed, thousands of uh, demonstrators uh, jailed, uh, tortured, raped. So this is a uh, disgrace as we see it, um, and even more so uh, after that horrible massacre uh, yesterday in Homs, and uh, ironically uh, at the 30th anniversary of um, uh, the massacre in in Hama. Uh, we had worked hard with others uh, for a consensus uh, resolution. Uh, let me remind you there was no uh, paragraph on an arms embargo. There was nothing on sanctions. Uh, there was nothing on a commission of inquiry. Everything we had advocated for, we dropped it in the spirit uh, of, of, of compromise. Um, and uh, two members of the council, nevertheless, uh, chose uh, uh, the veto and, and therefore th this council now, uh, tragically, uh, has to remain uh, silent. But we will continue to work in order to support the Arab League. That was, of course, the key philosophy of that resolution, not only stop violence, but also support the Arab League uh, to inaugurate a Syrian-led process under its auspices and help uh, the transition to a democratic government in, in Syria. We will continue as Germany and with our European partners, and of course also in the Council, will continue uh, to support the Arab League uh, and um, hope that we um, can bridge the gaps that so tragically came to the forefront today uh, in the future. Das äh, Doppelveto heute von äh, China und Russland führt dazu, dass äh, die syrische Bevölkerung im Stich gelassen ist. Wir haben als Deutschland, besonders auch der Außenminister, hart daran gearbeitet, eine Konsensresolution äh, zustande zu bringen, die das Ziel hatte, die Gewalt zu stoppen und den Plan der Arabischen Liga zu unterstützen. Wir glauben, dass äh, Russland und China sich jetzt äh, mit ihrem Doppelveto vor der Weltöffentlichkeit, aber das, besonders auch in der arabischen Welt, werden verantworten müssen. Äh, wir müssen befürchten, dass die Gewalt dort eher noch zunimmt. Aber wir werden nichts unversucht lassen, als Deutschland, als Europa, auch hier im Sicherheitsrat weiter, die Arabische Liga zu stützen und äh, den so lange ersehnten politischen Prozess in Syrien zustande zu bekommen. It sounded to me from what Ambassador Arrow said that there was some back and forth. I'm looking at the Russian amendments and I'm wondering which of some, uh, you know, for example, the pulling out in conjunction with the end of armed groups. Ambassador Arrow indicated that there was some offer of saying disassociate from extremists rather than from the armed groups. Do you think, was there some movement there? Can you characterize which amendment bothered you this, the most? This and other amendments would have altered the draft and would have altered the plan of the Arab League. That's the decisive thing. We didn't want to rewrite the plan of the Arab League, but we wanted to support it. And therefore, we could not accept those amendments. We would have been lenient on one or two things, and uh, my American colleague uh, made reference to it. It was not uh, taken up, so there was no other choice uh, than to go to a vote uh, today. We didn't see a willingness uh, uh, to come to an agreement uh, over the next days, so there was no other choice uh, to go a vote. 
Uh, it's not a pleasant uh, day, believe me. Uh, and uh, uh, I can just, you know, appeal to the Syrian people, uh, don't lose hope. Uh, although the council uh, let you down today, uh, but we and others, 13 members of the council, are supporting the Arab League, are supporting you, and uh, we will continue our best efforts. May have intensified its attack on homes, realizing there'd be a vote today that may have condemned them. Do you, what is the impact you think now on the ground after this these double veto today? How will it affect events? Well, that is a question that those um, two uh, veto powers will have to face. Uh, will they, uh, with their um, vote, exacerbate the situation on the ground? I hope not, but it is to be feared. And, and therefore, it would have been so important uh, after that massacre today, after the violence that is in store in the coming days, to speak out strongly today. It did not happen. And, and that is truly uh, sad and, and despicable. Thank you.